and welcome back to another episode of Hippy Dippy. Now then, uh, I was going to do a live stream, but I decided to point. What is all this? Oh, calm down. It's just steam. Really? Oh, I get it. Mount Killeros is melting the bottom of the glacier. Of course, of course. The heat and the cold are engaged in a feudal war. Just like someone I know. Why not worry about the path you're taking? The path I'm taking? Oh, hot! Wait, beneath this ice... Is boiling hot water. How can you be so calm right now? One false step and we're poached! Probably. If you don't slip, you won't die. For the Reaper, you're certainly optimistic. <laughs> Where's that famous apathy of yours today, Mogilu? <laughs> Who cares about apathy? Especially when I got friends as depraved as you! Alright, so we're gonna use uh, a holy bottle. Okay. The sky, the snow, it's all red. So this is a scarlet night. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Luffy or Celica, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the Crimson Moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that. Please, don't say such frightening things. A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other, and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. No. Oh. Yes. And the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So that's why the ritual is done on a scarlet night. But the world of humanity is violent. And the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. <laughs> oh, a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. Alright, we can't go the other way, but that boss fight... That boss is easy to kill, but he's really tough. That's the cave. I can feel a powerful earth pulse flowing inside it. It looks like we can reach the core from there. So now we have to walk up here. But we can't really do anything about that now, can we? Okay, so, um, here's the thing. Um, at the time of this recording, I have to get a tooth pulled. And also, I got new glasses. So, yeah, that's a fun thing. Okay, you guys can't see it. Alright, Velvet. I think it's time you let us in on your plan for how we escape if and when the volcano erupts. There is no plan. Oh, what? Then even if we Damn, were man. I'm not going to die. Well, I'm super happy for you, but what about the rest of us? I'm sure you'll all make it. Don't you think you're being a bit blithe? I doubt there'll be an eruption at all. We'll only be using the volcano's life spring to push souls into the Earth Pulse. I don't think that should have much of an impact on the volcano's activity itself. Well, if you say so, that's a load off. Aye, but the ancients also say that when the four Empyreans awaken, there's a great shift in the earth. If they're angry about being roused from their slumber, I don't think a volcanic eruption is something we can rule out. See? What did I tell you? Really, I'm sure we'll be fine. If the volcano erupts, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Velvet. <laughs> you look sure of yourself, but I'm still nervous. It may be best to write up a will. Aizen, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah. But I'm using them. That's enough. You already know how this will turn out, right? Oh, 
Oh, so you figured that out. It wasn't hard. Besides, it's not like you have anyone to give a will to. Oof, way to cut to the quick. Okay, so yeah. There are some there are some bats here that I haven't fought yet. So yeah, we are going to be taking out Malkior in this area and also um Rokuro's brother. And after that, we're almost done with this fucking game. Because then it's just some, um, uh, Laffy set and, um, uh, is there anything over here? Alright, the surfboard is at the very end. That's how, that's how they get to you. Arcane, uh, I bought 50 of these fucking things. I'll train in this cave because it's a lot better than training. I will train for the final fight because that's how it goes. Also, there will be, there will I will do everything end game at the very end. So we're not going to fight the boss right away. However, once we awaken the four appearance, everyone will turn back to normal, and it should be fine, hopefully. But I was right saying, oh yeah, there's also a lot of enemies here. I haven't fought. I might fight him when we get out of the cave. But we have to walk it until we get the geo board. But the first person that we're going to kill off is Rokuro's brother. I will also show off the other area because I can't really do it that right now at the moment. Luckily these enemies are weaker, so I don't have to deal with them right now at the moment. Um, so yeah! This area is really the skeptical. We can't go there until we get the geo board, so... I'm f freezing. So c cold. Getting... Sleepy. If you fall asleep, we're leaving you. Wow, what fucking bitch? Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'll face off against the bats at some point, and also the other enemies here. But I'm like level 61, so I should be able to beat Shigure at some point. Unless he's overpowered. Well, this is a map of hell. Wait a minute. We gotta might as well check everything. It's not like anything is gonna attack us here. So that's why I got the... A holy water thing. Okay, so this is a shortcut, right? No, it's not because there's icicles there. God damn it! Okay, so, ooh. Gotta get the red sage. There's also three treasure chests here, I believe. Yes, because it says it right on the... If you don't know how many treasure chests there are, there are three treasure chests on the top left hand of your screen. We'll show you how many treasure chests there are in the dungeon itself. Well, in the area you are in at the moment. You know? But, yeah. The... the uh, so yeah, we are going to take care of Shigure in this area, and then I'm going to go train a little bit. Because I know after that we have to take care of Malkior. And he's probably more powerful than fucking... Which, by the way, Malkior is... As far as I can tell, Magilu is Malkior's student, apparently. Is there anything over here? Is it something good? Nope, it's just fragments. I wasted my fucking time! Is 
or anything over here. Well, there's nothing here. It's just that there's just more cat things. I need to get the cat things because I'm... Because I'm... I, I spent like a lot of cat things in the last fucking one. Ooh, that's good. Thank God I can do that. That must mean that the last one's gonna be in this area, or in the last area that we were just in! I gotta get as many cat things, because I know the last one was 375. Which I did that one off camera. Yeah, not long now. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Laffy said. But there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Alright, ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath and Mercio? Huh? You, uh, you went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? Well, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let me in on this, too. It'll be our secret. Not you, too, Aizen! <laughs> There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with her! Now that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro, were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Laffy said. Yeah, don't worry about it. Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. Laffy said, Eisen, watch me prove myself. Why the hell does Eisen gives a fuck? He's older than all of you guys. He's like a thousand years old. How do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. Oh yeah, because he's a fucking G, motherfucker. Now there's the fucking... The perfect place for a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. Yeah, something. Oh, there's a save point. Well, once I do the save point, I can just. I don't know how tough Shigure is in this game. But after we defeat him, because there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes here, I'm gonna start training off camera. So I can't move ahead. So, yeah. And there is Shigure. So, yeah. Let's go, Shigure. Bring on, bitch. Everyone can use it except for Aizen. So we need to move yeah, Aizen my over time here. To shine. She can only do it once. Very well. Oh yeah, I also changed her outfit, by the way, if people must know. Because it changes the music of the Balm theme. So yeah. Okay, so here's Shigure, and he's the next victim on the list. Wow, really? He's really just waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay.
Incredible. The old bastard forged himself into a sword. Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah, oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Rokuro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair. You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got. He has a point. All too well. Well, that was it. Oh, he's weaker than we are, but he's. No mercy! Wounds that will But he's still pretty fucking powerful. Killing flash! But I'm this close. I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Fair place! The light of virtue! The dark of vice! Joining chaos! Chaos blue! Now, with a single breath, they appear! Here they come! There's no stopping them now! Good! Shit, I fucked it up. I went to go with Aizen, but I fucked up. That was way too easy. You people are really something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. Rokuro, he's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigure Rangetsu, after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, 
It's like a sword fight. Damn! So this is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take... Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. Huh? And that's the end of that, Jeff. Well, Velvet leveled up, even though she wasn't even part of half the battle beforehand. What's the matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure, your brothers, but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. <laughs> How can you pretend it's not important? <laughs> Shoot, Roko is a fucking badass. You answered your own question. So you will say it's because you're a demon? No, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought, when we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, we wanted to keep on fighting forever, like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. <laughs> but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Just as you worked so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura 
on Mitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. Let's settle then. When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. If you want to leave now, Rokuro, I won't stop you. Don't forget. My purpose here is to repay my debt to you. You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. Wait a minute, what? Oh, shit. Rokuro, you said something to him at the end. To Shigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family. The strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. And that takes care of that problem. Alright, let's see if we can find the fucking thingamabobber. Okay, so now we just need to kill Malkior. Time of this recording, my teeth are hurting like fucking hell, man. Jesus Christ! It's scorching. No, it's torrid. Wait, no, it's hot. You're wearing those least amount of clothes there. Stop making a fuss. Magilu. Keep their cool inside a volcano. Needs their head examined. I can feel the power of the Earth Pulse flowing upward. This is the Life Spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? But remember, the only exorcists whose souls are worthy of sacrifice are Shigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. With three souls, you can only awaken three Empyreans. That won't be enough to seal Inominat's power. If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode with you inside it. <sighs> if you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come. Try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Magilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken an Ominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Magulu, you're related to Melchior, right? 
You better believe it's the wrong time. Long ago, I was Magilanika Lu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. Magilanika? The, the lost legged! Huh. So even after ten years, my name still lives on. I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Oh, Not boy. in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, Sorry about this, people, but my freaking mouth is hurting me. like hell! I, tell you now, I, want to settle my I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him, just doing what I want. Like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you. Like always. Ah, oh, thank God. God damn it! Okay, it's a cinch, piece of cinch. It's scorching, it's freezing, it's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost! That's even more annoying. I mean, come on, if it's both hot and cold, it's not scoresing. It's freezing, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, that's not even my point! My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! <laughs> it should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? Well, so what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Gross! A sweet omelette? The crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought of dried grapes should be hanged! Well, then what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence-sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. Try to embarrass me. Alright. Hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take fucking care, bitches! I might go turn off camera.